Oh, that doesn't look good, does it? That does not look good. <laughs> Almost two and a half million in debt. It ain't getting any better, is it? <laughs> we've we've got to win this year, or else I can't. I, I can't see this club being around for much longer. How do they get? How do teams like this get out of financial trouble such as this? Honestly, I don't even think a run in the Champions League would help. I really don't. Projection wise, in two years' time, five million in debt. Nothing can be done. Welcome back though viewers for another episode of Conquering Scandinavia here. We're plugging on through the season quite nicely. We're at the 2nd of July already and my scouts have brought me a player who has been placed on the long list, Olivier Galle. I am almost tempted. I am genuinely almost tempted to loan him back. Um, I mean, he's worth 3.4k on wages now. I think we have gone past the point where we can, yeah, we don't have a wage budget or anything anymore but it would be quite funny uh, to bring him back on loan maybe I should have looked to do that to begin with anyway uh, but any it, it doesn't matter it doesn't matter um, but some of the players that they're suggesting me here this man has a free transfer what a great signing that would have been uh, we'll send a scout report probably not going to sign in but hey who knows but anyway today we have two games for you HK and poor we've been doing all right as you can see for you eagle-eyed participants in uh, the video, who watching the video here, Stjarnan, we currently sit in second position. So let's have a look at the league table, how we've been getting on. It's been all right. We are a game in hand above the team above. And if we do win that game in hand, we will go top because of our superior goal difference. Uh, we have Ben Kelly banging in goals. We have the best average rating. We have the best assist with Arna Sigurdsson. And I didn't realise I'd even been playing in that much. Player of the match is Ben Kelly three times and left back getting some yellow cards. Doing what left back does best, I feel. But let's have a look at some of the games that we've played since. So our first game of the season, um, we obviously had in yesterday's episode. These two games here, the 5-3 and the 1-1. Since then, quite a nice run. We played Fielkir, who were uh, a very decent side at the top of the league last year. 2-0 victory. Uh, we then won 2-0 again against uh, this team in the Cup. Uh, we then played VR in a 3 all draw, which I was very disappointed to actually draw in. We did quite well. We pulled it back. We got in the lead. We then conceded again. We got back in the lead. Then we conceded again. They had a man sent off, and we still couldn't get the victory. But then, this match came around. And Ben Kelly with a phenomenal performance again with four goals in a 7-0 victory against UBK. A very dominant performance. He then got a brace in the second game as well. And the next game. So he has been banging in goals. Uh, that game was a cup game, albeit. Uh, but this game, we lost 3-2. Devastating enough, really. They scored two right before half time, 45th minute and 49 minutes in. After we scored on the 44th minute, uh, 45th minute as well. So a hectic end to the first half. And we could not recover. And we could not pull the game back. Pablo Cordero, seeing what his strike partner had been doing though. And decided to make a difference. And make a change. And only score uh, when there was just a three involved in the game. So 2-0 uh, victory on the third minute. And on the 33rd minute. So very good from him. So today we are against uh, HK. Who are fifth in the league currently. This is a side... We are going to go with today. Not, not much changes. We have left back out injured uh, for another two to five weeks. So unfortunately, all of you left back fans, I know there's loads of them. You won't be seeing him today. We also have our right back out uh, for a while. Or do we? Or is it because I can't remember why we can't play right back. And I'm calling him right back now. That's quite disrespectful. I can't, I can't remember where he is. So without me even realising, Octavio Suto, who was our right back, has gone back to has gone to another club on a free transfer. But because we had him on loan, that just happened. And I missed it. So we don't have a right back. We also don't have a left back. Maybe a three at the back would be a good idea. Maybe it wouldn't. I don't know. Anyway, we're going to go with this side for the time being. I'll worry about a right back and a left back off camera. I'll do all that off camera. I'm such a good manager. I'm not even going to think about it now. That's how good of a manager I am. So, today's game. We have Ikenen in goal. Karen's going to fit on this right back. Jensen and Diamonde centre-back. Abu Tahir 
on that left back role. He can play left back quite well. Um, so he will slot in there. He can play there. So not too bad. But he is obviously usually an attacking player. We have Magnussen and Kitchen in that midfield. Forming a very strong bond. And I am I like it. I like it a lot. Sigurdsson on the right hand side. Uland Anderson, who's been a revelation for us coming back. Uh, I must admit, a very good player for us since we he has joined. Cordero and Kelly up top. And Ben Kelly has 18 goals so far this season. And as like last episode, for a man with 10 finishing, he knows where the net is. That's for sure. So I'm really glad I managed to bring in Ben Kelly. So let's go forward for this game and whip some ass, shall us? It also looks like we're playing indoors, which... Okay, I'm I'm four. I'm all four. Why not? The atmosphere would be quite weird. But yeah, let's get it, I guess. Indoors, there's the attendance must be really poor in this game for it to be indoors. I'm wondering how can we see that? We'll, we'll have a look at that another time. Um, it doesn't look like the pitch is indoors, but I guess football manager hasn't anticipated that ever happening. HK, good from Diamonde, clears it. Ben Kelly, kitchen now. That's a good ball. Sigurdsson's on it. Can he find someone? Ben Kelly, maybe? He's got a goal in him, I heard. A lot of goals in. Jensen with a good clearance. Not so good, actually. Uh, and they've started their attack again. They've, they've had a long ball. Ta wow. Oh, and he's in He's in behind. Ekenen with the save. So the first chance does go to them. It does go to them. But we've, we've, we've matched it. We've matched it with a very good save. Out. We haven't had a shot yet. Let's see. It was early, early doors, lads. Early doors. We'll, we'll, we'll be all right. Call Daryl now. It's going to bring this down. Or is he? It's been cleared. Great from Diamonde. Kitchen to Magnuson. Their partnership's very good. Sigurdsson. Got to square it. Can't find anyone. Kitchen out to Karen. On this right back row. That's a lovely ball. Magnuson's there. It's bounced around everywhere. Uland. Magnuson finds the back of the net. Julius Magnuson. That's a lovely finish. And Uland Anderson with the assist again. Not bad. For our first real attempt on goal, we passed it around. This is a bit higgledy piggledy, but we found a nice little gap there and smashes it into that bottom corner. Good goal, if you ask me. Puts us back up there. Uh, KA looks like they have, well, they are, yeah, they are 2 0 up currently, so they will stay above us um, as they are playing a game in hand over us right now. But we're still doing okay. We need to make sure we close out this game early before we move on to the second one and think about that. That's that's dangerous. Kitchen to Sigurdsson. Karen's on that right-hand side. He's found him. Now can he find a cross? Uland is in there. Taya's going to find it back. Out to Karen, maybe. Kitchen again. That's great play from him. He's normally a winger. He's done well. And that is going to be a penalty kick. And Cordero is going to take it. I wish I let Ben Kelly took it, really. Because... The more goals, the better. Cordero finds the back of the net. No, that's all that matters. And, well, IA have actually pulled a goal back. That would be nice if they get another one. Um, and we really close the gap on top of the league. But we are now bouncing ahead. 2-0 after 20 minutes. This is good. Throw in then on this left-hand side. We are 25 minutes into this game. It's a three-on-two situation now. We're in trouble. And it is played forward. Our defence are scrambling back. Ingerson has found the back of the net. We've really been caught on the break there. It's dangerous from them. They kept three up against our two. And I wish there was a way that you could sort of set it. So, like, if they leave three up on a corner, you bring four back. That sort of stuff. Like, how real life football happens. Like, if my team was playing and we were attacking a corner. And then my manager shouts, like, lads, there's three players up here. We'd have four players back. It just makes sense. And unfortunately, you can't seem to set anything up like that on Football Manager, but never mind. Um, we're just going to have to live with this ultra-realistic game as it is, you know, with the good one-on-ones and stuff like that. I I'm kidding, of course. I love this game with all my heart. Kitchen and Magnuson now, playing it around. Abu Taya knocks it in. Can he find anyone he can't? It's been played out. We're going to have to restart this. Oh, it's that stupid thing that they do again. And a cutback. A cutback. Because... Cutbacks happen all the time, don't they? So to begin with, that's a load of bollocks. And just as I praise the game, it then kicks me firmly in the nuts with the second blow of that really small highlight by giving a cutback. Great stuff. Great stuff. Buzzing. Really enjoying this. 
Um, but it's all right. It's fine. I'm not bitter. Ugh. Could have cut back. Could have cut back. We've just seen how good it is. You should have seen how easy it is. But no, smash the right of the keeper. I'm not bitter. I'm just very disappointed. Half time then. I'm far from pleased. I'm far from pleased. You let a two goal slip by keeping a ridiculous ball in which would have been our throw in. And it cost us. And here we go again. Three on two. How is this happening? How Are they playing a really attacking formation? I need to be paying attention to their formation next time we see it. Ekenen's made the save because they are they are coming at us with men in abundance. They have got a three pronged midfield uh, forward there with a three pronged midfield two and four at the back. Ben Kelly now Sigurdsson Kitchen has sprayed it out to Taya on this left hand side. He's found it. He's put it in. Ulan's there. Cordero smashes it right at the keeper. Ah, oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. Right. I'm going to pause it a sec. I'm just going to see what their formation is like. Yeah, so they are playing a three-pronged formation up front there. Um, so I don't know whether to change it or not. They're catching us. They're catching us out there. Right, throwing right down and deep into our half now. Any mistakes will really cost a potato. Yeah, that's wonderful work from him at left back. He's doing really well, to be fair, at left back. Back in. Sigurdsson's there. He's headed it. It's against the bar. It's come down. It drifted. It did, it wasn't like a, a firm header. It was a it was a floater more up to the, uh, the, the, the crossbar. But still, we still find ourselves with a lot to do. We still need a goal. And I can't... Oh, it's going to be a struggle. It really is. I think if I'm going to bring... I'm going to bring Karen back. And I'm I'm literally just gonna not make him do anything. So a fullback straight on defence. We don't we don't necessarily need him. Keep these three at the back now. Let's keep these three at the back and make sure we don't do anything silly. Maybe put Magnus in there. I don't want to be caught. I don't want to be caught. Um, half back. Now, if any of you have watched my tactic tester with Stad Renee's, I think it will be out by now. The time you'll see it. Half backs. Interesting to see how good a half back is using this formation. And we have Taylor on the left, uh, causing all sorts of trouble there for us. So, Max Young maybe. Can't, can't play three. Let's take off Cordero. I know he's got a goal, but it was a, it's a penalty. It's a, it's a penalty. It's a cheat, really. Let's bring on Young. Can we swap those two around? I'd rather have that and have Ben Kelly up because of his pace. Come on. Let's do something in this game. Let's get a win. We can't afford to keep dropping random points. Especially when the team's above us. And we dropped down to third now. The team above us are now above us by five points clear at the top. Um, and they are sitting still at 2-1. We need a lot to happen for us to become anywhere closer to them. And this game is running away from us. We have a highlight. Is it going to be for us? They they do have the ball. On this right-hand side. Arneson. Johan Jonsson. Oh, it's another cutback. It's another cutback. I don't... I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it, guys. How are they doing this? I know that there was an update not so long ago. And on stream on Saturday, we scored a lot of one-on-ones. But there was no cutbacks like this. And my players aren't doing it. So... What's going on? What's different here? We do have a highlight. Can Max Young do something about it? He's played in Sigurdsson. This is your time. Either shoot or do the cutback. Don't do both so none of our players can get to it. If he did cut it back, there's two men there running in. And unfortunately, it's cost us the game. That's dreadful. On to the second game. I can't even talk about it. Right, so the second game is upon us. Unfortunately, we've had an injury... That being Diamonde. Um, he is sort of fit to play. He's at 85%. I don't really want to risk it. I'd rather just keep him off. Um, we're just going to have to make do. We've got Appleberg, who's quite a good player, to be fair, to fill in and come into. Um, and it's going to be one of his first starts as well because of that stupid uh, loan rule. So we've got four players now, all on loan on the pitch. And we've we've just going to have to settle with this. Karen's going to have to stay on the right-hand side. Taya is going to do the left-hand side position for us again. So, other than that, everything stays the same. A fairly good performance. We've just not scored enough goals. Um, which is weird because we've been scoring loads of goals. But anyway, we're against Paul. Let's hope we don't play Paul. Is a joke that I've used way too many times. 
Straight away, from kickoff, almost, Gunnarsson now has banged it in. Of course he has. Oh my god, what is going on with this game? I just... I just don't know. I don't know anymore. Iceland, mate. Iceland. I hate this place. I'm sorry if you're Icelandic and you're watching this. I do not like managing in your company, in, in your country. Corner ball. Very early on in this game. Gunnarsson. Head it out. Oh, my God. Really? He's called Love. His first name's Love. Where are they in the league? They are mid-table. How are they battering us already? I don't quite understand. We need to go early. Yes, Appleberg. Great. Right on cue. Melvin, fantastic stuff, mate. Really happy with you. Good header. From a set piece, that doesn't happen enough. A kickoff highlight. Maybe we'll score from this too. Really give a misery compiler and turn this game around for us. That would be lovely. Can we do that, please? Or we can see it again and make ourselves look like tits. Here we go. Cordero is through. Make oh, that's poor. That's very poor. Very poor indeed. Cordero is not the man he was last year, and I don't know why. I don't know what's changed. Ben Kelly's come in and been a revelation for us. But he's got 10 finishing. I don't get it. Throw in on this left-hand side. Cordero back to Taya. Gets it in. It's been headed out. Magnuson to Kitchen. Magnuson's got it back. He's played it out. Karen on this right-hand side. Gets it in. Ulan's there. And we're level. 23 minutes in. We're now level. This is better. This is better. Unfortunately, we had that but really bad start to the game. And we could be sitting pretty now. Um, two goals up. But of course, that happened in the last game. And we still lost. So, hey. Can't always get what you want. Um, a game of a lot of highlights though. Because we have it again. In our half this time. Jensen's almost overrun it. Ulan, the goal scorer. Puts through a lovely ball for Ben Kelly. We're 10 finishing. He finds the back of the net. It doesn't matter. I'm telling you. It doesn't matter. I don't think finishing has anything to do with whether you score one-on-one -on -one or not this year. It must be something to do with composure or something like technique or something like that. I am puzzled. Uh, but Ben Kelly, he just keeps scoring goals. He just keeps scoring goals. And when he does, a lot of them are one-on-ones. Again, straight away, another highlight. Five goals so far in 25 minutes in this game. For the for the neutral, fantastic, brilliant. Ulan's found Kelly, and he's done it again. He's done it again. It's another one-on-one, -on -one, and he's found the back of the net. Ben Kelly, with his 20th goal of the season already in nine league games. I mean, I know there's been some cup games where he's battered in about four or five goals. But still, that's great stuff. Ben Kelly has found the back of the net again with... A <laughs> It's outstanding finishing, isn't it? Like, we're going to watch it again, apparently. We're for the offside. Never an offside. Look at that for an, for an off-the-ball run. It's a great finish. Oh, my God. Give us a rest, man. I can't even get a break between these highlights. I'm literally not even going to have to cut this game whatsoever this first half. This is ridiculous. It's played out. Gunnarsson. We're 4-2 up after being 2-0 down. Ekelen with the save. End the highlight, please. Thank you. Give me a rest. My God. There we go. A nice little rest there. Half time, 4 2. Ben Kelly with two goals in four minutes there, giving us the lead and solidifying that lead to make us two goals above. 4 2. We're back into second, three points behind top now, who uh, this is our game in hand. So now we sit three points behind if we keep this victory, and that is a big if because we have been throwing things away. But we're playing well, other than that first sort of five, six minutes conceding the two goals we're doing all right kitchen's now picked it up he is our maestro midfielder appleberg magnuson sigurdsson kitchen he's lost the ball now we are on the defense and we have a man running through and luckily that was a bad ball he has still got the ball though kiani he's, he's gone back to him it's deep he's put in across appleberg's headed it it's a little long highlight called daryl's now knocked it down and he's found ben kelly and it's another one-on-one -on -one. Oh, and it's a very good save this time round to tip it over the bar for a corner ball. Nice break, though. Nice break. Corner ball gets it in. Appleberg has hit the bar. He's good, isn't he? From corners. An attacking threat. Maybe I should be playing him a little bit more. Ulan now. If Appleberg scores, incredible stuff. Ben Kelly, though. He does score. It's a hat trick for Ben Kelly. Again. 5 2 now. This is amazing. 5 2. 
another 5-2 game. Ben Kelly with a nice little finish there. We're going to make some changes. Um, so, left back is struggling. We'll put Marin on, I think, um, in that position. Max Young's going to come on for Cordero, who hasn't been doing a lot, to be fair. And who else is struggling? Matt Kitchen. I want to give a bit of a rest. Let's put Selakovic on in that midfield spot and give Matt Kitchen a rest. We have another free kick, though. Right on the edge of the area. Ulan's going to take it. He's got great free kick. And he has put this one wide. Of course, he scored with his first, pretty much the first touch of his career here. And, oh, Stjarnan. And there we go. We're close again. This is We're dangerous now from set pieces because of Ulan. And I love it. Who we have? Ulan won the corner ball. He's banged it in already again. Already again. He's banged it in again. Magnussen. Back out. We've lost the ball. Now, this is it. We're in trouble now. Yes, we're 5-2 up, but we're still in trouble. Fabian has knocked it back. Maron, nice. Eakin and now have picked it up. Slow it down, lads. Slow it down. Let's not rush things too much. Jensen played a long ball. Could not be found. That was a waste. Fabian, Gunnarsson. Maron's cleared it again. Kelly, this time, has found it. Young, Max Young's gone through. Can he do... Why did he go that way? There was... Even in 2D, you could see the room that he had, couldn't you? You could see... You're all at this point. You see him go through. You thought, oh, lovely. Sort that in the corner, Max. Did he do that? No, did he fuck? Uland gets the ball in. Kelly's in there. Sigurdsson's hit the bar. It's bouncing down. It's gone in. And it's been given to Sigurdsson. How? How? Who knows? I don't know. Does anyone care? It looks like it hits about five men since Sigurdsson hits it. It bounces up. Well, it's an own go, isn't it? That's an own go. But Aaron Sigerson's going to claim it. It's like Sunday League, isn't it? Yeah, I was the last guy who touched that, so like, it'll be mine. Mine, that one. Put that on. Gaffer, put that on mine, please. But anyway, besides the point, we're 6-2. That's the victory. That's the victory we needed. Very good. Very good stuff. A lot better than that first game when we were 2-0 up and lost it. This time round, 2-0 down and come back and win. That's what you want to see, isn't it? Drop a like on the video if you can. That would be fantastic. If you wish to be a Patreon member, the link to the Patreon is down in the description below. We have a lot of new Patreon members lately, which I need to sort of do something for um, to promote a little bit more. But anyway, it's down there. You can sponsor a player here on Conquering Scandinavia. Uh, there's a couple of people waiting before we go to Sweden before they uh, sponsor their player. So that's going to be good when we eventually get there. They can get their name onto the game and sponsor a player for $4 or $6 a month, whatever you like. Uh, you can also get hold of the save game file. So either this or Youth to Gold, you can get your hands on that at any point. You can ask me and I will send you that save game file. But my name is Omega Luke. Subscribe if you haven't done already. And I'll see you for the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>